Hey, Storytime kids. Welcome back to Palmer Public Library for Storytime in Motion. I hope you're ready. We've got a great story today. We've got some great movement lined up. And what else? It's just a good day. Let's see. If you've done these videos before, you know we're going to need a couple things. So we'll get started with our story and then please make sure you're dressed comfortably. You can move and bend and all those good things. Please make sure you've got space. So if we're moving our arms or our legs, we're not bumping into anybody. And please make sure whatever surface you're on is sturdy and not slippery. We're also gonna use a stool today. Um, if you don't have a stool in particular, that's okay. You can use your couch or a chair or an ottoman, just something sturdy that you can lean up against a bit. All right. Well, to get us started, we are going to stick with our birthday theme this week. When's your birthday? Birthday time is fun. If it's okay with your adult at home, we'd love to know when you have a birthday at home. You're welcome to be in touch on our website or on our Facebook page. We'd love to hear about your birthday. In this story, it's Mouse's birthday. Oops, I better pick it up a bit. This was written by Jane Yolen and illustrated by Bruce Deegan. And in this story, please pay special attention to the words that rhyme with knees. The knees are gonna prompt us for the rhyme, which will inspire our workout today. So, Mouse's birthday. Let's find out what happens. There we are. Mouse's house is very small. Very small, very small. Hardly any room at all for anyone but Mouse. In comes Cat upon his knees, carrying a gift of cheese, trying very hard to squeeze into Mouse's house. In comes Dog upon his knees, carrying a pot of teas, trying very hard to squeeze into Mouse's house. <laughs> In comes Cow upon her knees, carrying a bowl of peas, trying very hard to squeeze into Mouse's house. In comes Horse upon his knees, carrying a pair of skis, trying very hard to squeeze into Mouse's house. That's a whole lot of visitors. In comes Farmer on his knees, carrying a brown valise, trying very hard to squeeze into Mouse's house. They all fit, candles lit, Happy birthday, Mouse! Candle glows, Mouse blows. <gasps> House goes, whoosh! Uh-oh. <gasps> Straw everywhere. Mouse's new house is very wide. Very wide, very wide. Everyone can fit inside, including Little Mouse. Yay! Happy birthday, Mouse. <laughs> the end. All right, well, what sort of rhymes did you hear with knees? Let's see if I counted correctly, there were five. We had the cheese, the teas, the peas, skis, whoops, I have a hard time with that one, and valise. What's a valise? It's a suitcase, like a little traveling bag. All right, so we've got five different moves we're gonna do today to get our hearts beating and get our breath going today. All right, I'm gonna move the stool I'm sitting on back right here, because we're gonna need it today, as I mentioned, some piece of furniture for our dips. We've done those before, so whatever you've used before to lean back for dips, please make sure you have that handy. All right, I might have to move this over just a bit more so I don't kick it. 
All right, first rhyme, cheese, cat brought cheese, how nice for mouse. That's gonna prompt jumping jacks for us today. Let's do 10 together. We'll count down backwards. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Yes, great jumping jacks. Next, dog brought teas, a few different kinds of tea. So for that, we're gonna do high knees. Let's see, does so anyone have the favorite number seven? Let's do seven seconds of high knees. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and stop. <laughs> Very good. That one always gets me going. All right, peas. Next we have peas. We're gonna do dips for those. So, go ahead and back up to your furniture. I'm using a stool and I should stay in frame here. But we're gonna have our hands just behind us. We're gonna have our feet out in front of us. We're gonna use our big powerful arms to dip us up and down. Here we go, let's do, how about we count by tens. Let's count by tens and do 10 of them. So we'll end up at 100. Ready, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Yes, if anybody asks, you can tell them you did 100 dips today. All right, I just moved my stool out of the way, so I've got room again. All right. Next, we rhymed knees with skis. For this one, we'll pretend we're skiing. I love this move, it's just fun. It's fun to jump around. So for this one, please pretend you have a line on the floor straight out in front of you. And we're going to swoosh, ski on this side and jump over the line on this side. We're gonna do line jumps. Pretend you're jumping right over that line and that we're skiing down a mountain. Let's do why not eight? Let's do eight together. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. And if you're like me, you learned a new word today, volleys. So for this brown suitcase that the farmer brought, we're gonna do some squats. So if you remember for squats, you can Put your feet, stand them so they're apart a little wider than your shoulders. They're nice and sturdy. And you want your hips, your back, shoulders, neck and head, all straight up right over your hips. And all we're gonna do is bend our knees, that's all. And we're gonna try to lower our bottoms right behind our feet. Kind of like there's a line right there. And that's where we wanna get our bottoms. So we're gonna do, let's do five squats. We'll count down backwards, and then if you want to blast off at the end, you do it. Here we go, squats. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off, well done. <laughs> well, that was great, you guys. I hope you got your heart pounding. I hope you were breathing a little heavier and that your blood was pumping. If you feel like you didn't quite get there, please back the video up and go through the sequence again and you're going to get it. You're going to really get pounding for those. Let's see. I think after that, we're going to be good and done. If you'd like to, you could take a nice stretch <sighs> up with a deep breath, kind of stretch through your sides. That just feels good. And we moved our legs quite a bit. And so I like to do a forward fold. I move my knees, or my, my knees, I move my feet kind of open like I was going to do a squat and just bend at the waist. And that gets the back of your legs so well. And I love how that feels. Do you have a favorite stretch at home? When you like to do in the morning or just if you're feeling a little tight? I'd love to hear if you had a favorite stretch. Maybe we could do it as part of a motion video. Well, that brings us to the end of our sequence today. Thank you so much for joining me. It was a pleasure to celebrate Mouse's birthday with you. If you'd like to be in touch, please find us on our website, palmerak.org library. 
You're always welcome to find us on our public Facebook page, Friends of the Palmer Public Library. Or if you'd like to chat, give us a call Tuesday through Saturday after 10 a.m. at 745-4690. Thanks so much. Have a great day.